Hey, good morning. It's Roger Thompson at the Thompson Atomic Ranch. And uh, today, coming out and checking on the bees. We've got uh, two hives out here. These are uh, some European honeybees, so they're more docile and friendly than the native, uh, well, invasive Africanized bees that we usually have around here. So I'll go ahead and show you what we got going on in here. Come on. All right, so since it uh, hasn't rained all that much yet, I gave the bees some uh, sugar water, just to help them get through the, uh, the hard time until more rain comes and more uh, nectar flow begins. I just took off the, uh, the lid. We got all the bees right here. And a majority of the brood, all the baby bees that are being laid by the queen, are being laid in these center uh, frames. And then the outer frames are generally where their honey and pollen stores are at. So right now I'm going to go and pull out each of these frames and try and identify where the queen is at. Make sure that she's doing good. I'll be checking uh, her laying patterns, making sure that uh, she's laying enough eggs, you know, uh, as far as worker bees and drone bees go. But dang, these are amazing little creatures. I gotta say, God is good. He knows exactly what he's doing when he made these. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but we got the queen bee. She is right there in the center of the frame. She's marked, as you can see, the mark on her back. It's an acrylic marker pen. It's uh, starting to come off. So I got to pick her up and remark her back. That way it's easy for us to uh, find her. You see those big long legs, the longer abdomen as well. So right now she's laying a lot of worker bees, all of those sealed cells, those are all worker bee cells. Pretty amazing what she's able to do. 